A top focus at this hour. The war in Ukraine has been going on for 100 days. Amidst this, the sanction war between the Russia and the West continues to intensify. In the latest, Moscow has imposed sanctions targeting U.S. officials in Treasury, Energy, Defense and Media. And U.S. has now issued warrants to seize two planes of a Russian oligarch. The move targets one of the wealthiest Russian billionaires, Roman Abramovich, who has already been forced to sell Chelsea Football Club in the wake of Moscow's February 24th invasion of Ukraine. The U.S. court issued warrants to seize two luxury planes owned by Russian billionaire. The U.S. Justice Department said in court filings that the two aircraft had been flown into Russian territory earlier this year in violation of U.S. export controls. However, despite the warrant, the government's chances of, the, of gaining control of the aircraft worth around $400 million was extremely slim. The hope is that the warrants will persuade companies to not help with moving the aircraft. Since the Ukraine war began, Abramovich has been hit with sanctions in Europe, but had not been placed on U.S. sanctions lists. On the other hand, Russia has imposed personal sanctions on 61 U.S. officials. The sanctions include Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm and leading defense and media executives as well. The Russian Foreign Ministry said that the personal sanctions banned these people from entering Russia, adding that it was in retaliation for constantly expanding U.S. sanctions against prominent Russian figures. The ministry also said that the sanctioned individuals included officials who were involved in fake reports about Russian cyber attacks as well. And as the war continues, more sanctions and accusations can be expected from both sides. Russia had recently warned against sending military equipment to Ukraine, claiming that such actions would only prolong the conflict while the West continues to pledge support for Ukraine.